everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga! And oh my goodness, before we do anything else, before we consider expanding the kennels, breeding a new puppy, or possibly a racing in the League 7 race, I have to say thank you guys so much! I am drowning under the adorable artwork that we have of Striker right here, girl, and Max's puppy Mary, short for Merry Christmas since we do have her born in the month of December, which is so much fun, and she is just our Christmas puppy, and I asked last time if you guys could possibly, if you were feeling fan art frenzy, uh, make me some fan art of Mary with a reef-like collar around her neck or just a straight up Christmas wreath right across her neck and you guys rose to the challenge I have so much amazing fan art to share with you guys hopefully you saw some examples in the beginning of this video and I have already set them into their own special little folder so that with my digital photo frame where I display fan art all day long in my office it rotates all of the beautiful fan art you guys have sent in like all of it too we have over 2,000 pieces and I alternate between the different playlists to try to see all of them. But Mary and our other dog sled dogs now have their very own folder and their very own playlist so that I can look over and think about our wonderful canine companions all day long. So thank you guys so much for Stryker's beautiful daughter. And Max, where are you, buddy? There you are, Max. <laughs> so Stryker and Max's daughter is going to be very well loved and we will always have Mary in the family. No wonder, no matter what her faults and traits are, if nothing else, we might keep Mary as kind of like a mascot who hardly ever goes on races. We'll just take her out so that she has her favorite thing now and then. And I'm just so thrilled. So thank you, keep it coming. Don't think just because people have sent it in that there's no point in sending yours in. The point is to just have fun, be happy, Happy, and I will be happy to display the fan art. It's gonna be a little while before we can go through just the wave that has arrived. But honestly, guys, it has really, I was having a hard day and I opened up my email, my fan mail email, and it just blew me out of the water. I can't thank you guys enough. Always remember those little gestures of kindness and creativity and sharing what you have whipped up really can change someone's entire evening. Even me, you might not think Siri may need that sometimes, but sometimes after cleaning up the naughty comments and like diving into work for hours and oh, it just, it means the world to be able to see your creativity come to life. So for those of you who sent it on Twitter, make sure you back it up by sending it to me on my fan mail email if you're worried that I didn't like reply or respond to your post. Just Twitter's pretty bad about showing me that somebody notified like a message to me and that's that just thank you thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you <laughs> All right, and now what to do for our puppies because that totally motivated me to make sure that we can manage to expand the kennel I want to be able to get it as big as it can possibly go I'm really hoping 12 is not the maximum size. I hope it can just basically be kind of like infinite until you're basically left with no money at the end of every single month. And uh, we might have to start maybe rotating through our puppers, making sure that we can play with them. As you guys saw, if you hire a dog, you can now see rehires of dogs like Moo Moo, who were born into our family and just didn't quite fit at the time, but we can rehire them and bring them them back into our lives so you don't have to panic if we ever have a dog that we have to remove from our kennel we'll rehire them in the future and we'll just say that they get to go to a trip to Florida or something and have a nice vacation so except for Max Max is like Max is just famous. Max the movie. That really cracked me up how some of you guys were even making mock-up like posters of movies with Max the famous dog. Like Max on. <laughs> you guys could start getting Max sneakers, Max stickers, Max merchandise. Oh my gosh, that cracks me up. All right, well, let's get back to work, my friends. We have a lot of tired puppies because that last race really almost did us in. We were having a lot of trouble with it. We have a lot of dogs who need a lot of rest. We have three days until another race and I think nine days until the bills are due. So I'm not exactly sure if we should try to race for the like seventh league. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Let me make sure. All right, Everpine's the only one who's not getting the rest that she needs. We'll go ahead and try to rest her in just a second. 
All right, but I feel like I have to wipe some paws and brush out some fur and massage some sore muscles on all of our dogs who really threw everything they had into that last race and it was a doozy. I felt terrible that poor Maximus. I thought we would just be able to like train him up really well from it and he just was, oh, he was so tired. All right, how are we still doing good on taking care of all of them? Okay, Sierra, you can swap out. Everpine, swap in. Sierra, we're gonna have the jerk go ahead and train you. There we go. I'm sure the jerk and I now like sit down. Oh no, the bills are due. Pay your league expenses, qualify for a higher league or make any cuts you need to afford the next month. <gasps> If we don't do this now, it'll be a whole nother month in the game before we can save up enough money to qualify for the league, I think. Oh boy. Oh, you guys, should we try? Should we try? Oh dear. <laughs> if we try to qualify for the next league, the thing is we can start entering races where we make even more money and that can fund our dog team. You know what, I think that my puppies are tired, but they'd be willing to try. So yeah, if you win, you need to win a qualifying race to enter the league. If you don't, 75% of the league expenses will be refunded. So we'll lose 25% of the money if we lose the race. And if we don't have enough money to pay our dues, we get dropped down in leagues until we're able to pay the funds. Man, you never knew that racing a bunch of dogs would involve so much administrative knickknack work, did you? All right, well, let's go ahead. We're going to try to enter this race. Ooh, really nervous about this, but let's swap out all of the dogs that I think need to be swapped out. Yuki could come on in. Where's the exhaustion level? I think Max, is he still tired? Max, what's your... Okay, Max is actually good to go. So Max will be swapped in. Sierra will be swapped in. She's good to go. Striker's a little bit tired, so I'll move her closer to me. Harmony is good to go. Domino is a little bit tired, but he is our absolute perfect dog for being able to run these big races. Everybody is very experienced. Some of these dogs have almost run 100 races, so let's do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is the qualifying race, guys. Okay, nobody panic, and I better not end up with fumble fingers. <gasps> Can we end up in like seven dog races after this? Oh gosh, the obligation. That's kind of chilling to think that I might, oh boy. Striker, eat this. Ah, dang it, Striker. <laughs> That's fine, it's not your fault. I was just hoping you would grab it because that would, all right, let's start feeding them because that would definitely help us. Come on, puppers. Come on, puppers. Striker, eat this. <laughs> there we go. She loves perfect catches. All right. And toss. Oh, no. Okay, Max, here we go. Thank you, Max. <laughs> Blinding me as usual. <laughs> I guess I just need to acknowledge if Max is going to be in the race, then I need to be ready for the paparazzi to swing by. Striker, grab this treat. Okay, no! I'm gonna get bopped in my own head from that tree. Silly tree getting in my way. All right, let's come, keep going, keep going. Harmony's got this, Striker's got this. Striker loves passing up some of the other dogs. Not quite as much as some of our dogs do. We have some dogs who think that like being able to pass up other dogs is just the best thing in the world. That's actually like a favorite thing some dogs can have. It's like competition or something. I can't remember what it's called but it's pretty hilarious. So like winning, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, we passed him right at the last second. We actually qualified for league seven. I wasn't sure if we could do it. Good job, puppers. Look at all of you, oh my goodness. We did it. We've reached the top league. That only took like three years. <laughs> And Max, of course, you got some fame. Let's see what went down with the whole group. Wonderful, Max. I need to... It's, it's, your favorite thing is petting, isn't it, Max? We'll have to see. All right. Striker's rapport has gone up with Harmony, which is fantastic. Sierra is pretty happy. Uh, it looks like nobody... Like, oh, and Domino went to fame level 11. Congratulations, Domino. I think you deserve it. You have done just as many races as Max. But apparently Max is just like the perfect dog for pictures. All right, good. So, and the rapport has gone up with Harmony and she's happy because she got some fame. 
that's pretty funny that she really loves fame and we have reached league seven this is the top league my friends and we have reset the funds so we now do not have to worry about money again until 29 days have passed the downside is it's now more expensive to qualify for league seven so our fun our expenses have gone up but theoretically that means oh my goodness 9,000 from a short race like that. That means that the races have also got more competitive and you can add more dogs to them, but the money is much better. So, oh my goodness. And we should have little Mary joining the family any minute now. So I'm pretty excited if she can come in and join us. The jerk, why don't you train up some dogs? Okay, come on, come on, come on. All right, Yuki, uh, Everpine. Actually, I guess everybody needs some rest. So never mind, jerk. I need you to actually go ahead and carry for some dogs and who is not being cared for there we go okay and now everpine is the, the odd dog out all right <gasps> mary mary has grown up she's a full-fledged member of the team now let's get her a harness and she should definitely have a green harness because i love the idea that she has a christmas reef on we're gonna give her a green harness that looks kind of like a Christmas reef to me. And we're going to imagine that it has like little bells on it and it has cute little ornament looking things because you guys have made the most amazing fan art. I am so excited to share it with everybody. All right, welcome Mary. All right, let's go down the line for pets. Down the line we go for pets. Almost there, and there she is! Oh my gosh, look at what a little young girl she is. Hopefully we will have some good races we can take her out on. She has drop speed as her fault time. Her favorite thing is perfectly timed catches. <sighs> of course it would be, it couldn't be something easy like being pet, but that's fine. And uh, we're gonna have to see what her natural aptitude is, but I highly suspect it might be her mother's natural aptitude because Stryker, <laughs> Stryker has left quite the impression on her genetics there. So I have a feeling that her natural aptitude is probably going to be in the middle, which I'm fine with because we always need more middle dogs, I feel. All right, so let's see. Who needs what kind of care? All right, uh, Max, you no longer need that care. Anybody else still tired? Maximus and Yuki. And then we'll have the jerk come through and he can actually train up Mary because I think she really needs it. And then we'll go ahead and train Harmony and Sierra. Oh good, Ava Max can go in there. Fantastic, all right, let's proceed. There we go. And we'll get everybody the care that they need. There we go. And hopefully like Mary's skill might possibly go up by being trained without even having to enter any races because I would hate to send her into a race unprepared. Our next race is a short race and that might be worth taking her. Good quality snow, snowy and foggy, restocks will be sufficient and there'll be a lot of rocks to jump and a lot of trees to dodge. But if we're aware of that, that might mean that could give Mary plenty of ability to be able to get lots of fame. So it would be her very first Merry Christmas race. Ah, oh, that would be fun. Okay, let's see, Domino. Yuki, you both are done. Stryker and Maximus still need a little bit of care, so I'm gonna keep them with me. All right, and you know what? We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go down the line really quickly. Because if you do that and you delay the race, then it actually lets you, I love how they all bark. Uh, come on, come on, hey, can I not pet you guys? Okay, I was going faster than the skill thing, so it wasn't letting me pet them, that's fine. But if you go ahead and cancel instead of just jumping into the race right away, it will actually let you see the caretaking and the training go up on your animals. All right, so I do wanna enter the race, and because this is, Mary is an adult now, I want Mary to come on this race, and we're gonna have her surrounded by experts. So we'll have Max at the wheel, or maybe we'll have Yuki at the wheel. There we go, because Mary and Yuki look kind of similar. And then for a lead dog, I'm thinking Domino, uh, but a lot of people say Everpine would be really good as a lead dog or a wheel dog. Um, the personality being strong apparently means a wheel dog. Uh, let me check really quickly because our only other wheel dog is actually Max and I can't select him right now for some reason, so that's fine. Um, I'm gonna try Everpine out as a lead dog just to see what happens. Also because I love the idea of Mary for Merry Christmas, Yuki, which means snow in Japanese, and Everpine, which is like pine trees, all being on a team together. I actually think that's very delightful. It's a very Christmas-themed team. All right, Yuki's gonna be up front, Mary is going to be in the middle, Everpine is going to be, or excuse me, Yuki's gonna be at the back, 
And uh, let's see how this goes. Also, Yuki really wants to see some victory. Hopefully that will happen with our little Christmas team. All right, there you go, Mary. Mary, you have already been thwarted by a tree. I apologize. <laughs> Yay, and she got a perfectly timed catch at least. And then if I throw this just right, huzzah, she already ended up with a bit of fame. And I'm just like bonking poor Yuki here on the head. <laughs> All right, and again, if I time this just right, fantastic. Mary can go and she can get a little bit of fame because I'm aware that the trees and the rocks are here and this is a short race. All right, Everpine's ready for a perfectly timed catch. Mary, there we go, perfectly timed catch. All right, and I need to use these rocks better to try to kind of like cultivate some fame. Rock away to the fame, there we go. Who needs a treat up front in the middle? Dang it. Okay, so that helped to get Mary a little bit more fame to you. It's her very first race, so I'm really hoping we can present her well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We're actually running into trouble with the others. Come on, Everpine. There we go. Woo, we almost didn't make that jump. Is that the jerk in the background? Who's this newbie? Who do you think you are? No! <laughs> Somebody came barreling up from behind, but we didn't do too bad for Mary's very first race. Okay, Yuki got a little exhausted there, and Mary's fatigue capacity went up a little bit. Yay, and she had her favorite thing. All right, that wasn't like the, then her fame went up at least. So her very first debut race was quite, what, was quite well received. All right, wonderful. And her rapport, Yuki's rapport with Everpine has gone up and Mary is slowly but surely developing a little bit more skill. And then Everpine got pretty darn tired. That's my bad. Uh, and I don't know if Everpine is meant to be in the front then because her aptitude didn't really seem to be for lead. We'll try racing her in a wheel race and see if that's better. Cause a lot of you guys say strong dog is always wheel, but a lot of you guys like argue with each other in the comments about that. And I don't know who to believe. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but all right, let's go ahead and pet everybody We have one day till a new sponsorship deal comes through and then next time we are gonna try this Fireball kennel to tree farm race because uh, looking at nine thousand dollars We could possibly earn is very tempting when we consider that we have a little bit more room to add in more puppies more puppies <laughs> But all right guys that'll have to be for next time again Thank you all so much for the beautiful fan art that you have sent in of Mary I am so excited that she is part of our family now and we can try to send her on many wonderful races So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.